Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpho Project. And today we're going to be working on the little bits of a tree right there. So right over here we're going to fix this bad boy. And this, and then we can then finally um, get some more parts of the tree in there. So, uh, no further ado, uh, let's get started on this. Because, uh, you know, it has been some time. <laughs> like two weeks, I believe. Alright, um, let me grab everything right put everything right where it needs to be so it will be fine there you go there you go all right so yeah um it has been some time i uh, i did not expect this to be uh well i was expecting you know not to do anything a lot or well not do a lot but what the hell did i do here I've been working on this and then not do anything with it. That's the tree. That's correct. Alright. Ah. I see now. So, where's the other one? That. And we're gonna go to pure black for this. We're gonna get that pencil up and running and gonna put back to 3.6. 3.6, please. Thank you. All right. Um, now that we're working on this, we can then find out what needs to be drawn in and how to draw it in. This definitely should be lower. So what is drawn here and how is it drawn like that? Alright. Uh we won't want we don't want this yet. We don't. I'm gonna first look at what we have here and then see how this is gonna be going. So this right here. We should definitely put it like that. Because if we do it the other way around, yes, if we do it the other way around, this actually looks weird, so that is better. Alright. Now we have done that, we can now look at this tree and see where it needs to go. Therefore we need the sketching. Yes, we need the sketching for this. So we want we want to have a set we want not this. This is absolute garbage. Want that. We're just gonna erase that bit. Alright, so we know that there is going to be a big giant lump, big giant lumpy boy, right over there, going upwards. There is no doubt upon that. There is no doubt about that, that there is going to be a lumpy boy there. Hmm. That would work. That actually would work. Nice. That would definitely work if I add it like this. And then add this in there. In there. So we have this lumpy boy here. And we have 
Drop this right there. All right. And then that should fix the part that we need to draw. So this is going to be like this. Um, I need to have it like this, like this big, yes, there you go. And have it like that. All right, um, that's doable, right? That's doable, because we can just add that like this. Can add that right now. Can add the second part right now. And we have this part right here that we can mimic around with. And then we have this part right here. This needs to be not that big. And that should fix it. Nice. All right. Uh, now we actually need to make it, which is going to be the hard part. All right, so I'm going to be putting this down to the drain because we want to have like two. We want these things to be separate so that we can know what and how to draw. And then we're going to add it the uh, bits in like the color from the tree. So uh, this is going to be the hardest part, isn't it? that and then this should be like so I'm very happy that I actually updated the uh, tablet because uh, <laughs> it was a little bit unresponsive let's put it that way anyway um, I hope uh, you all had a lovely celebration of the newest year because that is actually quite one of the things that I really liked this year and then today I actually went to work again so that was also very nice to have happen and I heard I got a comment that I was looking great so therefore you know everything went pretty well because that's actually quite good the only downside is that actually the uh, the convention actually moved to August. The main problem is that now I have a double booking, which is a, a little bit of a problem. Because technically I would be going away for 18 days that day, so therefore you know I cannot attend on the uh, on the event. But you know you never know what is going to happen to vacation, so I'm just going to keep it open. Um, the uh, room that I had to rent, I actually just gonna go then that day, even though you know I'm not gonna go to the convention. I'm still gonna use it because, well, you know, I cannot redeem it, so therefore uh, I cannot refund it, so therefore I will just use it anyway. No need to worry about that. Yeah. Fix this part up. Am I going to do this like that and then just remove it later on? Eh, no, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not doing it wrongfully. I am going to do this one, though, because I know I can. There you 
ja. That is a lovely tree. That looks nice. All right. Um, this part right here, I should definitely add in. All these shark tooths are all imported anyway. And then I'm going to be turning around like so. Yeah, right. Now I need to actually add the leaves to it. So, um, it has been some time since I ever did this again, and, uh, you know, I am um, looking forward to doing it fully. So, you know, I'm going to be making sure that I'm do continuing working on this. Also working on the drawing that I need to do for the convention, because anyway, I'm going to want to finish it anyway. Because, you know, I started on it, I'd, it would be a waste if I wasted it right now. And, um, how do you say this? Uh, the amount of stuff I actually di uh, completed in the uh, vacation, or what I did in the vacation period, it was a very nice twist of turns, you know, just doing absolutely nothing, just playing video games. It was actually quite nice. Main downside is that, you know, I didn't got any time to do my drawings because, well, I didn't do a lot of drawings. I only did one. I had uh, the celebration of New Year kind of drawing I did. Just a tiger themed uh, explosion of fireworks. Which turned out not too bad. Alright. Um. So about the about you know this upcoming weeks, I will probably focusing on fixing the Malfa project, or well you know at least finishing it, trying to finishing it before August, and uh, trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do then after that. But uh, until then, you know I'm just gonna be focusing on the Malfa anyway. And then, you know, fixing the drawing that I made for the convention. Doing that. That is also a thing that I need to do. And playing some Temtem. Yeah, actually, that's uh, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. So, yeah. Playing Temtem. Doing the ga uh, playing ga uh, playing video games. Drawing. Going to work. Doing my daily walks because, you know, I need to keep up. I need to keep my condition high because uh, it's very bad to uh, fall behind when you want to walk like, you know, 18 days long, 18 days long in Iceland. It's a very bad idea. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm fully ready to do the job that I need to do, which is just walking, keep on walking. And... Um, I'm having actually quite a blast, knowing how all of this is working out and how this all is getting now. Of course, you know, it was a real shame that I was not able to post anything or just deliver anything, but um, yeah. I do have my days off, which uh, is important. Days off is always important. You know, you cannot have a day, you cannot do things without a day off. That's a horrible idea.
far more natural. Nice. Yeah, far more natural. All right. Um. So yeah, um, working on this is always so relaxing. You know, I have been busy reading a manual for almost like a whole day, and that manual was all about you know just how to uh, how to work on this uh, software that I got uh, the software that I need to learn to produce three D products for the smelting company. Oh well, the smelting company. Uh, I for for the forge, yeah, the forge company. So therefore, it's important for me to know the program and how to use it and what the, what it all can do and what it can do, so that I can immediately ask or whenever the boss is saying like, "Hey, can we do this?" and I can say like, "Yes" or "No." That's the most important part, because you know it would be a waste of time if we can do something and then it turns out we can't. <laughs> And we could all have been avoiding this if we just read the fucking menu. So yeah. Doing that is important. Um, I uh, I asked some people to uh, order the items that needed to be. for uh, uh, Because, you know... I had been stuck in... Uh, I had been stuck with the... Uh, with, with a scan for almost like two two weeks because of that we are not having the stickers to complete the scan not enough stickers or reference points if i say so myself which is quite nice that you know we have them but if they are gone if we don't have enough then well you know that's a problem so yeah um also i'm trying to figure out like do i really want to buy to this this year the treaty uh the 3D um, printer, like the SLA printer already, but right now I don't see any benefits for it because, well, you know, I'm still busy learning how to draw, so therefore I should better focus on that. And uh, Wednesday I'm going to be cooking some food. I'm probably going to be picking up some, uh, going to make some rice with uh, with homemade, uh, homemade peanut, peanut sauce and... Uh, what is it? Uh, and then some baked, uh, baked uh, beef, uh, dipped in soya, uh, baked in soya sauce. So that's gonna be great. It's gonna be very tasty, at least. But yeah. But yeah, it's um. It has been a while since um. Uh, I have been picking up the brush already because you know it has been like what two weeks probably with the Malfa project probably two weeks, and uh, you know it 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 you you can see, it doesn't mean you can see it but it, you can definitely feel it it's a it's a thing that you know you're a little bit rusty you don't know where to go from one point to the other because you're still working on some stuff knowing where to go is uh is a very advanced skill. You know, you want to know where you need to go with progress, well... Uh, yes, that's good. Lovely. And then filling this bad boy up. That will fix the whole damn thing right here, the issue. But right now I'm actually quite doing quite well. Also, I have been playing some D and D lately, which uh, totally cheered me up because you know I missed it at the game so fucking much. I don't know why I always miss such games because it's actually quite fun to play. But still, though, it's very sad. And then when you when you need to cancel sometimes, and then you know when you're finally there, you <laughs> I was like, 
Yes, finally. The main problem was that I was actually quite ill because somebody was doing absolutely horrible at cooking dinner at Christmas uh, at Christmas uh, at the first time of uh, first day of Christmas. Jeez, I felt that for like two weeks. That's uh, not not very nice. My stomach just went totally ham on me. It's like you will suffer now. <laughs> So uh yeah I uh, I fixed it I, I fixed that problem um by drinking Coca-Cola and uh, do some more uh yeah realizing the problem really fast is one of the mo most easiest way to avoid that kind of situation and I just did that All right so I hope I hope you all had a lovely a lovely new year, that's for sure. With all the fireworks and all the booms and the bams and the baboodles. I actually went just I was just sitting home with a dog on my leap on my on my leap and I was like Oh, it's already twelve o'clock. Oh well. But though, you know, the firework was still going on. It it was not as heavy as it used to be, because well, you know, the government actually said, like, please don't. But then, you know, I was like, oh, this is actually quite nice. And then when I looked at the news, everything went like, ah, they went apeshit again. Lovely. So, yeah, but it's, they definitely not, they definitely did not hold their, um, hold them. Most people didn't hold them to their own words. Like, you know, they, they celebrated, like, big time. And I don't mind, really, obviously, but yeah, they uh, they did uh, celebrate properly. And I just celebrated by, you know, saying, oh man, it's 12 o'clock, time to see if I won a prize. It might not be very satisfac uh, satisfying, but, you know, I already had a blast when uh, doing other things. Mm -hmm. All right. This needs to be a little bit more. This needs to be a little bit more like that. And I need to go that way, all right. First things first, we need to add a new line here. It's very important that we always keep with the crocodile hooks. The crocodile teeth are very important because they represent the flowers. Or, well, leaves, not flowers. So, yeah. Um... I have nothing to say anymore because I'm literally out of words. I'm just concentrating on fixing the uh, damn problem with the... Uh, uh, well, there is a tiny little problem right here in the texturing, but that's because, you know, I haven't done the texturing in quite a long time. But it should be fine, it should be fine. I just, just really, really, really need to figure out like where and how to do it properly. All right. So yeah, made a decent progress um, on most things. I actually already know now what I need to draw for the next. Uh, well, not the next draw. I mean, write for the next. Uh, part. Even though you know the book is absolutely horrible at writing, but. I know now what I need to write, so I know now how to read the, uh, write the events and what to need to do with it. Because, you know, 
everything needs to follow up on, on, on top of each other. Because if we don't do that, you know, if we, uh, if we constantly ruin the, if we, if you don't keep consistency in the storyline, it, it, it falls off very bad. So yeah, I'm going to keep on with the storyline consistently. Um... Fix that one. All right. And now we can actually move to the next part right here. So, and then that should fix it. All right. Now, as you can see, probably that I made a tiny little bit of a mistake while drawing. Um, it's probably on this side right here. It doesn't follow the full strict code of how the uh, leaves exist. So I should be very careful here how I do this. That should be ish fine, hopefully. Hopefully fine? Yeah, it should be hopefully fine. I don't have to do this like that. Alright. Now we're here, and now we're going to add the part where we need to be, so we're going to add the leaves which we just drew. We're going to remove this and then we're going to be drawing this. So uh, we should definitely do this on the pencil move. Pencil move, right? Yeah, pencil move is actually the best way to do it. So five, we now have color. Yeah, probably this is the best way. Yeah. Just gonna add some color towards this and then see how this is all gonna go. And then we're gonna remove the colors later on. So we're just gonna fill it up, see where it goes, add it the add it the coloration differences later on, just first fill it up to see if it actually works. That's the main, main idea. And as I was concerned about that, yes, I was, and I was right. Ho, 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 ho. I see some problems and we need to fix them. Looks like it. Those are problems, right? And they don't have to be problems, but then I would definitely add some more texture there. Here it doesn't matter that much, but the part right there, oh yeah, definitely. This would fix everything almost. All right, so now we add some now we're going to add some more, uh, where's my pencil? There you go. Now we're going to add some more leaves here because, as I said before, sometimes it's very hard for you to see where the mistakes are lying because of how the drawing works. Because you cannot have always the same amount of, you cannot always have the flat amount of, you know, uh, texture on a drawing, but it is important that we keep consistency in the amount of how much leaves there are. And yes, it does represent that like that. All right, good. 
now we're going to go back here and we're going to be picking up the brush like this one. Yeah, this one. Now we're going to select the color that we had before, which is this one. And we're going to now uh, put this on 75, I believe. Yes. Alpha bit, please. And then we're going to up the scaling to the light. Because we know where the light is, all right? We know where the light is and how the light works here in this tree. So we should definitely add that in. So first we want some nice little bits of light in there. And then we want some better light in there as well, because, you know, and then right over here as well, like that, and then we want some darker. And some more darker here. Uh, we'll choose the size here a bit. There you go, fix that problem. And then I have also this part right here, which then can be like absolutely like this. All right, good. Now we also need to add the uh, bit that we need. Right there, we need that. Of course, we're gonna blend that out. Same goes for this part right here. Of course, we're gonna blend that out. So we need a blend tool right now. And then we add this right here. Now well, that's decent. A little bit more there. So I should let me add some more. Right here. Don't want it to be too obvious, of course, but like this. And then we have now the light bits. Yes, absolutely yes. All right. Now we need to figure. Now we need to fix everything that's around it. Uh, now not yet though. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We do need some lighter tools here. And that would fix that part. And then I should definitely add some more darker. Mm. 
Yes, like that. All right, good. Now we need to remove a lot of color. All right. Time to remove some color. Yay. This is actually one of the most hardest parts to do anyway. Because we need to actually do it properly. But yeah, um, I'm actually very happy already how far we are now with the Marvel Project. And it's getting better and better the more we're doing it anyway. Um, how much time have we in? Oh, 40 minutes. Damn, we're doing this fast. Uh, it is actually quite satisfying to hear. But now the hardest part comes anyway. So therefore, you know, things go a little bit slow. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Now, let's see if we can get everything up and running. Right. Now I need to get over here, fix this color mess. Things might look, everything might look a little bit too green, but eh. In my, in my eyes there's actually quite a lot of difference of green, so should, we should be fine. All right, there you go. Good. And now we can actually do the rest. This is sometimes a little bit of too much of precision work, but uh, it's important because you can see it if I don't do it right. Which is quite annoying that you can see it. Because the background is behind it, therefore, you know, we need to do it anyway. Now 
Oh god. Uh, I need to turn this around like so, yes. <laughs> Right. And then this should work now. And I need to fix this part right here yet. Jeez. Yes. Alright. Kill me. Hmm. That's like, maybe that's a little bit too dark. Fine. We're gonna fix that. Oh, that works. Ah, uh, that works so good. All right. Now I need to figure out how much time do we have? 50 minutes. Ah, uh, that's doable. Oh, crap. Yep, that means I have done a lot today. Jeez. Well, maybe go over here. Oh, wait. There you go. Now I have depth on it. Mm. 
And now I can use this to blend in. So that's And that will fix it, right? Much better. Look how nice it already looks. That looks like a proper tree. That looks like that looks like proper tree leaves. All right. Her boy. Uh, now we actually are done with this one, right? Because if we add this to it... Oh yeah, that works. Oh, that works so good. Mm. Mm -mm. Alright, we have successfully drawn the first part of it. Now we only need to make the drawing of the, stamp, uh, of the, of the tree trunk parts. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that on a separate layer, because otherwise things might look a little bit different. Um, I'm going to keep the line art, though. I'm going to keep the line on the same layer, but I'm not going to be doing the tree part, the trunk part of it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think I will leave it here. I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye!